Good morning, everybody. Welcome back from Salmon Scott Selections here for Sunday, October 1st. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. Nothing to go through. Give it a look at player prop in the NFL on Sunday. So if you do want a bonus play for the NFL, check out the video before this one. But for this video, going to go to a two-pick teaser in the NFL. Going to look at the Eagles game against the Commanders and the Chiefs game against the Jets. And for this teaser, going to take a six-and-a-half-point teaser on Bet Online. We're going to take the Eagles at nine and tease them down to two and a half, and take the Chiefs minus nine, and tease them down to two and a half, and that two-pick teaser pays out a minus 130 on bet on one, time recording of 3 a.m. Eastern time. Covering why we're going to take the two uh, favorites here and tease them down. First reason on the Eagles game, the Eagles have been very good at home with Jalen Hurts as the quarterback, as the Eagles have won 10 of their last 11 home games, including the playoffs with Hurts as their starting quarterback. Plus, Philly does have a pretty significant advantage in the trenches, particularly in the ground game. Philadelphia is averaging 185 0.7 rushing yards per game, which is the second best in the league, while the Commanders are mediocre at running the ball. They're averaging 106.5 rushing yards per game, which ranks 15th in the league. Now, Philadelphia is great at stopping the run. The Eagles are allowing just 48.3 rushing yards per game, which is the fewest in the league, while the Commanders are allowing 128.7 rushing yards per game, which ranks 22nd. On top of that, Washington has also been really bad at protecting Sam Howell, and they give up a bunch of sacks. Now, Washington is allowing a sack on 16.1% of dropbacks, which is the highest percentage in the league, and Sam Howell's been sacked at least four times in each of the first three games of the season, including getting sacked nine times by Buffalo last week. So I do think with the Eagles having a pretty good defensive line and with the offensive line for Philadelphia being great as well, the Eagles should be able to do enough at home to get the job done. It might be closed for a little while, but I really just have too many questions about Hal's protection. And we saw what he did when he was rushed last week as he threw four picks against Buffalo. I think Philly gets the job done and wins this home game by at least three points. And for the Chiefs game, I'm really not going to spend much time on this one. You have Patrick Mahomes against Zach Wilson. I feel like that kind of sums it all up. The Chiefs offensively were struggling in the first couple games of the season. Kelsey came back. They looked a lot better as the Colts did score, as the uh, Chiefs did score 34 points in the first half last week against Chicago. And the Chiefs defensively have been great this season. The Chiefs are allowing just 13.3 points per game, which ranks fourth in the league. So it's a top five defense in the league. And now you're against Zach Wilson, who we know is probably not an NFL caliber player against the likes of Mahomes and Kelsey and company. I think the Chiefs should definitely get the job done here in this road game. Maybe you can make an argument the Chiefs end up struggling early on. Maybe they're playing with their food a little bit. Maybe so. But I do think eventually Mahomes will make enough plays. And I really don't know how many points the Jets are actually going to score in this game. Maybe 10 give or take, and you're assuming Mahomes should probably walk into at least 21 in this game, no matter how good the Jets' defense is. I do think at the end of the night game, you should see the Chiefs up by at least three points in route to a win. So once again, the two-pick teaser, six-and-a-half-point teaser, is going to be the Eagles, minus two-and-a-half, and the Chiefs, minus two-and-a-half, and that pays out a minus 130 on a bet online. Bye, everyone.